Hey, but rounding up the pod, right? Speaking of fighting for it, we got a, we got, you know, I got a subject for y'all. Special for y'all on Cinco de Mile. Mm. All right. We got Lamar Jackson. You see the jersey? Yes, sir. That's a $260 million man right there. Uh-huh. It's a parade in y'all city. Not yet. <laughs> it so ain't going to be a parade until we get that Super Bowl trophy. You heard me. So my man decided for what? 255, five years? 260. 260, five years. And what is it? 180? 185 guaranteed. 185 guaranteed. That's crazy. I like that. I like that. No I like that. agent. No agent. What is, what is mom's? You heard me. And he made it the point to let them know, hey, yeah. y'all told me I need this, I need, I thought the same thing. I was saying in a group message, we yeah. got no group message. I'm like, lie. this man is crazy for not having an agent. I said this Only because of the publicity, like with the negative stuff that agents usually handle and all this, Lamar was like, yo, I'm not rocking with none of that. Just tell me straight up. Hey, and hey. I, yo, I, I commend him for that because yeah. I was just watching a podcast about it because he got his own restaurant out in Florida. It's called uh, Play Action. And um, mm-hmm. one of the dudes that I follow, his podcast, a dude in Graven, who's a Ravens fan, he was able to do, um, he was able to um, do an interview with Lamar with uh, the guy. I just started following him. I can't remember his name, but his, they call him Nitro. But they sat down with Lamar at his at his restaurant and did an interview with him about, you know, him signing a deal and all that. And it's like, yo, like, you know, like, despite all of what you've seen and, you know, everything everybody been saying about you, like, you're not proud that you did that. He, yo, and this is why I will forever f- Lamar. He told him flat out, "The deal's already done. It's behind me. I'm focused on winning the championship. Right. I'm mm. trying to get it done, bro. Like, cause, yo, he, uh-huh. like they, like I understand what they were asking, but like he just kept saying, like, yo, this it's already behind me. He's like, yo, like basically saying, like yeah. all this shit that that they've been saying, whatever, yo, that all that's behind me now. Yeah, mm. hey, what else? Now you I can, say, you know, now no. I can focus on the season." Right. right, and I I like um too, coming in. It, this this is wild, but I I mean you supposed to say it, like he had the quote. You saying he wants to throw for six for like six thousand yards with the weapons y'all got now, and I thought like six K is crazy, but it's doable. It's it's doable. I what Patrick Patty Mahomes almost hit six K last last season. Yeah, he yeah, he yeah. definitely hit five right. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. but I like I like it with uh, Zay Flowers Bateman if he can stay healthy. OBJ yeah. got that veteran presence. I think he's one of the smartest receivers, yeah. especially that what he was doing in the Super Bowl. One yeah. of the smartest receivers out. He know all the rules. He know everything he need to be doing. Mm-hmm. Body, but he just got all the intent. It's just injuries, injuries set him back. Yeah. But but then also y'all got what I think. I think uh, as the best two way tight end in the league. I think Mark Andrews is the best two way. Like when we yeah. talk about running pass block, then going out there and catching. Yeah, we all know Travis Kelsey got the got the pass game on getting open. Yeah. Catching all people, he's the best receiving tight end. But between him and Kittle, the two I them two way tight ends, I I like Mark Andrews the best for real. That could go out there catch it and yeah. and go run block and pass block. So it, it's looking crazy. It's yeah. looking possible. Hey, like, like the only the only the only reason I I agree it's possible. The only reason why I would say, I mean, that Lamar like you know pump your brakes. The only reason why I would say anything negative besides is that. Bro, we have the ability to be so balanced. Like yeah, everything yeah. you just said is true, but then you gotta factor in that Lamar probably gonna rush for a thousand. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then JK and Gus between them probably gonna go for twenty five hundred. Yeah. That's so it's insane. like it's just we got such a wide open offense that while you probably could throw for six bands, you don't need to. You're probably exactly. not gonna have to. It's probably yeah. it's, exactly. It's probably not the opportunity. Probably hey, not even gonna present. I was just though. telling Kirk yesterday. I said, "Yo, this is probably like the most content mm-hmm. that I've been you felt with your team, yeah. bro." Only feeling. because like we've known what Greg Roman has done since he's been there. It's like okay, we went fourteen and two that one year, and hey, we didn't hey, win. And hey. I was like, "Yo, that shit hurt." Hey, easy, hey. On, easy on Greg. Yo, his son still play for me. It's okay. <laughs> it's all right. Greg? Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. But, hey. You know a funny story about that? We're we going to talk about that next podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But to wrap up my point, like, I, I, yo, like, after the 14 2 season, I was like, yo, all right, we didn't get it done. It's cool. Next year, same playbook, same everything. Mm-hmm. I'm like, yo, the league didn't adjust it. Yeah, you got to you pick it up. What are we doing? Like, yeah. they know when we run this certain formation, we're either going to run the ball or it's only two people well, that can pass. It got there. worse. Like, 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 personnel wise, we yeah from from, from it nineteen definitely to twenty got worse. Like, you know, you lose some pieces. Willie Sneed, like you, you, 
the the part of it that people don't want to address, we lose Hayden Hurst. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. bro. We needed him. Garnet Thor. Like, like that three. We sent him to Atlanta. Set, right. That's what we needed. Mm-hmm. We, like, we needed the three tight ends. That's what I'm saying. He came and put work in Atlanta. It. You know what I'm saying? Like, like we didn't have I was, I was still mad. I'm, to this day, I'm still mad about us trading Hayden Hurst yeah, to Atlanta. People was, making, people was making adjustments because, like, when you see a three tight end set as a defensive coordinator, your your mind goes to power football. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but yeah. when you got a three tight end set, like you said, you got Mark Andrews and you got Hayden Hurst. Bro, Both they, can catch they, the ball. They are threats. Exactly. Yeah, you don't got threats. the personnel on the field to match up with to that. To match up with that. So it's, it's it's stuff like that. It's little stuff like that yep. that personnel wise hey, could take you threw, all the way we, to that exactly, Super Bowl. We threw ourselves off. But what like for me, like what what, what Clay is saying is right. Like th- this is the most content I've been with been with for like our offensive skill position yeah. in quite some time. But defense we never really had to worry the, about. The the okay. the most important I, I think what might be the most important move outside of getting Lamar signed, Steve Saunders, our strength and conditioning coach. Yeah. Get him out of there. Yeah, get him out of there. We talk about, you know, if this guy can stay healthy, if that guy can stay healthy, like like it, it's been put on notice. Like the Ravens He's trash. Fans, no, Ravens fans know, but it's been put on notice that like there's something happening in Baltimore because people yeah. are not they're, they're not the ones that are getting injured aren't getting healthy and people aren't staying healthy. Like what what's, what's going on? And yeah. then you got guys that that weren't that, that might have came here as free agents talking about their experience mm-hmm. with our you know how the strength and conditioning coach and the training staff aren't on the same page and that's they don't trust them. He- right, yeah. no trust. Guys aren't healing. Guys are pressured to come back. Like man, that's why you know, Lamar did what he did. Right. And it, to it, be it was, honest, it's, it was like everybody that that looked crazy. That's the <clears throat> excuse me. That looked like the craziest part was yeah. like all the running backs are injured. Yeah, Aitman is injured. Lamar Jackson injured. Mark Andrews. I'm like, yo, it's getting like it's getting crazy. crazy. Oh, no. Like it's, it's getting, getting crazy. crazy. Right. And then if you go back to the 2020 season, he's the mother brought the COVID outbreak into the building. Uh, yes, he is the one that and did still had a job. Right. <laughs> like so come like, on, they bro. Packed it up. Yeah, oh. like. Especially back then, especially back then with the code, they weren't playing that code. No, exactly, bro. So I'm surprised he still had a job. That that is the move right there, like where you know we're looking for guys to get healthy, stay healthy. I think that that becomes more of the norm because that's never really been like our medical staff has always been, you know, up towards the top. Right. Like we like every football is a dangerous game. Yeah. Like I actually hate hearing that football players are. Like you might talk about a guy as injury prone because mm. let me tell you something. Yo, what you think? <laughs> let me tell you something. You expected Dangerous to get injured. Game. Yeah, you got grown men Yo, who are elite you. athletes. But if you thought if Lamar was gonna go out there and, and play it. a playoff yeah. game and risk it, and he didn't even have a contract signed, oh. you crazy. Exactly. Oh. Crazy. Motherfuckers tell him about talking about. Oh, he should have played. He should have just put a brace on it. Like, come on, yeah, bro. All right. And RG three, I commend RG three for coming out and saying, "No, nah, because because this is what happens when you put a brace on it." Exactly, that's what himself. happened to him. Yeah, out there with the brace still oh, on, right? Like, with the brace on, holding that knee. Like, shout out yeah. to RG three for being a real one. Right, yeah, he, he he tried to tough it out. He came him. back and he was a former Raven, so you know I respect him. Yeah, I feel even though he's with the Commanders. Yeah, forget them. Man. Hey, well, no, no, I mean, I understand that, you know, we stole the headlines and everything, but we, we ain't going to move away from your Falcons, though. Hey, hey Bijan, I like that. Bijan? Hey, Bijan, I like that. Hey, you, you, you know they starting to disrespect running backs, man. Like, Oh, like, yeah, but. You know, he ain't, ain't, ain't been one taking that high since Saquon. But Bijan, Bijan like I mean. They compare I mean, the LT, though. Bijan, like the, that. The bro. analysts, the analysts say, you know, of course, he's never played a down in the NFL. It's like. He's he might be the offensively the most star ready yeah, player out of the draft, sure. and I, I I believe it. You got like the wide receiver. There was some good wide receivers in uh, Higba, great wide receiver, but like the wide receiver class was like, eh, yeah. I'm whatever. surprised they fell as far as they did though. Yeah, some but, of them. I mean, other than Addison and then Higba, and if I'm saying it wrong, y'all cut me up in the comments if you need to. <laughs> I, I won't take it personal. <laughs> But I've I've seen it I've seen it pronounced yeah. twenty different ways in right. the draft. Same, same. But but him and Addison, I, I like Zay Flowers. I liked it because he came out in the combine. He's a Boston College dude that like nobody's talking about. But then he had to just combine performance. I compare him to him like like a miniature Calvin Ridley. You know what I mean? Shit, we knew about him. We've yeah. been talking about motherfuckers so since last year. Is that he had a similar offer or similar offers 
that Jordan Addison had. So Jordan mm-hmm. Addison was at Pitt. Yeah, know, he yeah. played with Kenny Pickett, and you know that USC transition with USC, Caleb Williams. You know that 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 brain trust that that that, that with them deep pockets come calling. They like, look, it's NIL deals for you out here in LA, brother. Come get that you money, leave Pittsburgh. So Jordan Addison says, "Shit, I'm out." Right, but, USC. And, but for real. I don't know if it was USC, but like they they said, Zay Flowers has some very very lucrative NIL offers to leave Boston College, and he was like, "No." Nah. I'm he saying. said, no, I, I, I committed here. Like, you know, this is where I came, coming out of high school. Like, I'm loyal to the program. Bro, when they compared him to Antonio Brown, I said, oh, yeah, we got to get him. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But uh, but aside from those three, like, in the draft, I just was like, ah, yeah. you know, Marvin Harrison Jr. coming out next year. Yeah. But you don't oh. want to be in a position that has to no. be able to draft him. Nah. I, the, the one thing I like, if we could ever be in any position to get Caleb Williams, I, mm-hmm. I'd take Caleb yeah. Williams. That'd, that'd be solid. <laughs> I'd take mm-hmm. Caleb Williams. That'd be solid. That's the only reason I would want Atlanta to yeah. tank, but I, I don't want them to tank. I'll just let you know, Falcons, please don't bring my heart this season. Because <laughs> we got weapons now. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Pitts. I will say this. I hear you. I, I You know, we you, you my guy, and we, we back and forth with it all the time. Oh, see, oh yeah, for the sure. Time. I see you talking about on your John Morant shit, we're fine in the NFC South. Oh, we fine. But, but let me let me let me just tell you not to sleep on Carolina, bro. But they, you they, know they why they fucked up. up? They fucked up today. Talking about Andy Dalton. Yeah, it's very about Andy Dalton is hey, the starter. I'm like, yeah, I like that. Hey, man, I, trust, <laughs> I trust that shit as far as I can throw it. Exactly. If Bryce Young is breathing and living on uh, the motherfucking opening day, I tell you what, he's taking though, that. He's taking that first. He should year. probably play like maybe one preseason game and then that's it. Bryce. Yeah. yeah, yeah I, for I sure. because my thing is I I would hate to see. I would hate to see him get hurt in a preseason game. And that's the biggest question mark is like he's slight. Bryce Young is bigger. Bryce Young is smaller than me. Exactly. Yeah. Like I'm not he taking like, no. He might be a little bit taller than Kyle Murray. I'm not that's taking no yeah, outside actually, linebacker. God damn. I'm not taking no outside linebacker hit. No D I'm not no elite athlete, but at my size, I'm yeah. I'm I'm right. taller than him. I'm like thirty more pounds than him. Yeah. Hey, I'm man. like if I imagine one of them. I, one of them edges in the NFL hitting me. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Wrap like, it up. Like, Cancel like, Christmas. No, for real. And the, um, the thing is that Bryce just has that, he has that thing about him that we say about a lot of the quarterbacks that we think are, you know, slight, that that, that might not be able to last. He just got that, that shit with him that he he, gonna ball. Like, you're not going to, you're not, you're not just going to get a shot on yeah. Bryce Young. He going like, to ball out. Like, you, you, yeah, you, yeah. You'll sack him. You know, you'll you'll if he take off running, like you know, you may you might hit him, you might get a little shove, but like you're never gonna get just a, a clean, clean one on lick on Bryce Young. It like, ain't gonna be easy. Smart, but... like 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 when they when they say he like Steph out there, like in the pocket and like just the way he maneuver with okay. the, and, and take control of the offense, bro, it's really like magic. Yeah, yeah. And I've seen him since modern day. Like yo, they cooked, yeah. they cut St. Francis up. They know? definitely did when he his senior year. They cut okay. St. Francis up. They did. He ain't cut them dogs up. That's all I'm worried about, Bryce. It's like, you know, <laughs> cut them dirty birds up. Yeah, like, Get out of here. Like, even though, like, I love Nolan Smith. Uh-huh. I love Jalen Carter. Love Trayvon Walker, bro. They ain't never got no clean lick on. on yeah, Bryce. that's true. That is true. You're right about that. And they, by far, the best yeah. best defense in college. But I will say, though, that offensive line for Carolina looking a little shaky, baby. Mm-hmm. A little shaky. We're going to see, though. We're going to see. I'm looking forward to all these rookies that got drafted. Um, definitely looking to looking forward to seeing Will Levis. Was it Levis? Levis. Levis, man. I want to see what he's going to do. Man, yo, he, see what he, he going to do because he's supposed to go in the first round. Him. He didn't. So it's a reason. So what? Right, yo, out here you eating the, the like he what? out here eating a banana with the Look. shell on it, man. <laughs> <laughs> man. You no, know. you know what? I don't want to see him. He put mayo in his coffee. In the coffee and ate the banana you. with the pill. You know on. what? Come on, I ain't gonna say what I was getting ready to say. I think it's time to sign off. I think it's time to sign off. I'm feeling that.